Hello guys, welcome back into another video here on the Banjo Attic page. Today we're going to be learning a pretty easy song. It's going to be Oh Susanna. This is one of the first songs that I learned when I started playing the banjo. It's a pretty simple tune to learn and I'm going to show you all how to do it today. As before, all the tablature for this song will be up on my website on banjoattic.com. Uh, go to the tabs page. It'll be a little link right there for to a PDF file. Click it. You can print it off. Do whatever you want to with you. It's completely free. I ain't charging you a bit. Just go there and uh, download it print it off and then you can use the whole tablature for this song as I go through it on the video. All right guys, so in this first measure, what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna go through this first and second measure and that's the way a lot of this does through the song. Like the measures kind of go together but you can only get so many beats per measure so we split it up into measures. These first two measures kind of go together and you'll see what I'm saying when we get to the end of it. But what we're gonna start off with is a slide on the third string uh, from two to four, and you're just gonna pluck it with your thumb. Okay, and you're just gonna go from uh, the second fret to the fourth fret on the third string. So, uh, with your right hand, pluck the second string and the first string open. So, and then thumb on the fifth string. And then you're gonna do a double pluck is what I call it, but your first and second string our first and second finger on the first and second string, just plug them together. So it's a slide. That's what the first part of that measure should sound like. Once you do that, as you come down to the fourth string, as you come down for the slide right here for the fourth string, everything else is open. So just kind of leave your hand right here. Don't, don't jerk it back up here to the top of the neck. Leave your hand because you're going to be laying your ring finger down on the second string on the fifth fret right here, which will roll right here. See, this is actually uh, two forward rolls, which is five, two, one, five, two, one, but it kind of goes across these two measures. So it's actually going to be. Now let's go to the second measure and then we'll put them both together. So under the second measure, and we'll start off in the first measure kind of. Now, after your second forward roll there, the five, two, one open, on the third string will be your thumb. Hit that with your thumb. And then your thumb again, and your middle finger. This is what you'll actually be looking for on these first two measures. Now we're going to the third measure, which is uh, the same two to four slide right here. And then a two one open, second string, first string open. So slide to the two to the four on the third string, second string open, first string open, which is the index middle on your right hand. Now, when you do this slide, before we left it down here because we was gonna catch this string. This time we're gonna we're gonna go back to this second fret third string right here. So after you get through with this slide. Come back up here, a forward roll on the next uh, a five, three, one. So, so it's um, it's kind of a double thumb roll. Then again, this measure kind of goes with the next measure because you're putting your finger back down on the third string, second fret, and plucking it. You're doing a forward roll through with this two, keeping this two held down. Five, two, one. And then lift it up. And then do that same thing again. Five, two, one. Five, two, one. Okay. So the first whole line uh, of what we've done so far should be. Uh, Okay, so now starting on the next measure, <clears throat> we're going right back into that G lick we done at the very first. Right, two to four slide. It's that same exact one we done before. Actually, the next two measures are the same as the first two measures of the song, so it's the exact same. Five, 
first part of the next is the same as well as the first part of the song, but the second half of this measure is different than what we've done at the first. So it's two to four. <laughs> So you're going the two to four, same. And then second string open, first string open. And that's index on the second, middle on the first on your right hand. Now you're coming back up to the second fret with your uh, finger and holding down there and keep it held down. And then you're doing the forward roll, five, three, one. And then a thumb on the third, middle finger on the first. And then this one comes off, and at the start of the next measure is an open third string. Okay, so it'll sound like. And then to out, complete out the next measure, after you do the thumb on the third string, is just a forward row. Five, three, one, five, three, one. Now we're going to come up here for the start of the next measure after you do and that forward roll at the end of that measure. Okay, five, three, one, five, three, one. That's a, a fill lick to kind of fill time, of course, but it also gives you time to move uh, your hand into position up here and get ready to go into the partial C. Index finger on the second string first fret, your ring finger on the first string second fret, and that's your partial C position. And for this next part, you're just going to put that there and just hold it down for two measures don't even worry about your left hand everything you're going to be doing is with your right hand so get that c position and at the start of the next measure you're going to go which is a index finger on the second string okay of your right hand forward row which is a five two one five and then an index on the second string again quarter beats on these next two ones, which is on the first string, but you got it up here fretted at the second fret, but use your middle finger and, okay. And then another forward roll, five, two, one, five. Okay, so it'll sound like this. The start of the next measure is a hammer-on right here, a two to three hammer-on. So you're going to start your index finger on the second string, second fret, and you're going to hammer on to the second string, third fret, okay? And then from there, it's a forward roll, um, you're hammering on, middle finger on the first string open, and then a five, two, one, five, three, one. So notice that. And that's a roll you're gonna to have to kind of get in your head a little bit, kind of get your finger, because it'll get you mixed up, because you'll you'll roll through the same roll twice if you're not careful. And that makes it that's the little nuances in the song that makes the sound different, makes it sound right to you as you're playing it. Because there's a bit time you'll be playing something, you're like, that just don't sound right, but I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. Well, it's because you're you're off a string one way or the other in your, in your uh, filler rolls. And then back to second fret, third string, fret it right there on the start of the next uh, measure and then plug it with your thumb. Forward row, five, three, one, five, three, one. But the first one, you're gonna be having this fretted, and then the second time through it, you're taking it off, okay? Five, three, one, five, three, one. And then this last part is just the exact same thing we learned uh, the second, like it's the very first of the song, except for the end here is where we change it. And the second time through up top, when I said it changed to this part, um, it's all the same through this, so. That is Old Susanna. Pretty simple song, and I think you'll enjoy learning it. I think you'll enjoy playing it. 
once you get it down and, and play it. I played it a lot when I first started uh, learning to play the banjo. It's a really fun song. It's a really good one to pull out, you know, if you want to play a little simple song around the family, around gatherings or whatever. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it, guys. And I hope this has helped you out a lot. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next week.